Oh yeah, not much of a warm up is going to be needed today. It was another hot and humid fucking day outside. And we were still sheeting the roof. So yeah, we're not going to need much warm up. But yeah, it was fucking hot. Talk about sweating, man. This is why I bring an extra bottle of cologne with me and deodorant. Is that uh, when you get to sweating like that, <laughs> you can start sweating. All the deodorant, all the deodorant that you had on, it's fucking gone by lunch. Yeah, it was fucking, it was fucking hot, man. You know what? None of that really matters because it's another chest. Well, again, chest and triceps, but it's mainly chest day, so none of that shit fucking matters. Yeah, all that matters right now is, um, well, pretty obvious. It's uh, getting a massive chest. Well, really overall, just getting fucking massive in general. That's all that matters right now. And getting a crazy pump in my chest. Dude, so that, that Kool-Aid that I was telling you guys about a couple days ago. Yeah, again, it's really fucking good. But, um... It, uh, it has my lips turning red. I've been drinking it so much. It looks like I'm wearing freaking lipstick. And I'm not into that shit. <laughs> so, that's the, that's the only thing I really don't like about that stuff. But I just, I mean, damn it, I can't help myself. It's that good that I really don't care what color turns my lips. Alright. Like I said, not much of a warm-up is going to be needed. So, let's see how this feels and we might get into the first set. You know what? All right, I'll do that one more time for a nice set of five just to make sure I'm actually ready. And then uh, we'll get into that first set, man. Yeah, I was sweating so much and got so hot at work today. Of course, it didn't help that I was wearing black pants. I should have, you know, it's about time to break out the, the work shorts. But I had black pants on. I, again, I was sweating so much that um, I didn't even, I didn't even bring my pump cover shirt in. We're going straight into the, the tank top. All right. All right, weight feels good. Yeah, the goal here is to, since, well, this is kind of what I need to worry about after this, but since this is the the second chest day of the week, I don't think I'm going to do, well, it's kind of what I did last week. I don't think I'm going to do any dumbbells today. Again, I think it's, it's pretty hard on my elbows and my joints. Now, don't get me wrong. I do think dumbbell flies <clears throat> are the best variation of flies you can do for your chest. But with how heavy I go with them, I don't want to do them twice a week. So I think, you know, since I did them Monday, today we're going to focus on a lot of cable work. You know, I mean, again, make it a little easier on my joints and elbows. And um, I don't know, I might even do the pec deck again, even though it's funny because I say, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of the pec deck, but I fucking do it all the time. <laughs> it's, it makes no sense, really. But, um, again, I really just do it because 
just for something different. So I'm not doing the same thing all the time. And uh, yeah, and it is a little easier on your, your joints. So although I will I will say I've had talked to some people that they say that the pec deck hurts their shoulders. And um, I've never had that problem. I think it's just a lot of already if you've already had shoulder problems to begin with, which I never have. So <laughs> I got kind of lucky there. But, um, you know, where my shoulders are healthy and good, you know, I got the, the shit end of the stick with my back because my lower back's fucking, I've had problems with that forever. So there's always going to be something, you know. Yeah, let's throw another, let's throw another 45 on. I actually decided since, since last Thursday on this, you know, Incline Smith. I hit a PR, and I actually had four really good sets of of this. So, and it was just it was just three plates on each side. So I figured, you know, why don't I add just a little weight, a little bit of weight, not much. So I just threw a five pound plate on each side. So it's ten pounds more, which I think brings it up to, I think it's two eighty five without. So it'd be two roughly. I might be I might be wrong there, but I think that's it. So we're gonna try to get ten. 11 i don't know i just i just figured it'd be a good idea to see i have a, I have a bad tendency of <laughs> jumping weight too much you know instead of two fives on each side i'm tempted to just throw on a 25 on each side and do a heavy set of whatever but um again since i've already hit chest once this week and i went kind of heavy on that this is more of a you know not a maintenance day we're still trying to grow and build muscle but a little more focus on hypertrophy. Let's see how it feels. Well, I got 10, uh, but I can say very confidently, I'm not going to get 10 again. <laughs> it was, that was a one set deal there. Honestly, I'd be glad to just get at least eight on the next couple. Good set, though. That felt really good. I already filled my chest, so, you know, that's the goal. We're getting there. We'll do, wait a couple minutes to do another one. Honestly, I think I'm just going to do one more set with this weight. Let's be honest. I'm going to do a drop set too. But, but yeah, I think just one more with this weight. Then I go down to two plates and that'll be it for pressing. I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys have noticed that whenever I'm, well, really anything with legs, chest, shoulders, all of it, I only do one exercise for for well let, let's just start with chest on chest day i only do one exercise for press whether it's like today an incline or on mondays when i do flat everything else is a fly or some kind of accessory chest exercise and that's because in my opinion like a, a good a good fly dumbbell fly cable fly whatever in terms of isolating the chest more and being able to get more hypertrophy, I think those are way better. Oh, no, I won't say way better, but they are better for that reason. And that's why, like, if you add up all my sets, I probably do double the amount of 
you know, chest flies and on and all the accessories than I do with a incline bench press or or my flat bench press. It's probably it's probably double the amount, really. And I, I've kind of learned that the hard way. For the longest time, I had a great well for my body weight when I was even lighter. I had a really good bench press, but my chest development was kind of lacking, and it's starting to catch up now. And you know, I kind of learned that through through the years of training. You know, and that's why I see a lot of powerlifters with huge, I mean, huge bench presses, but their chest, their chest isn't small by no means, but in terms of what it should look like for the amount of weight they can push, it's definitely underdeveloped, just say it like that. So, yeah, I mean, I think chest flies, whether it's with the dumbbells or the cables, pec deck, whatever, and uh, some good, some good chest dips, that is where really you can separate your chest from the pack. But anyways, we'll do, you know, I've already rested probably almost a couple minutes. We'll rest like another minute and then, like I said, do one more and a drop set. I don't think that last rep, I think I could have went a little lower on that last rep, but we're going to fucking count it anyways. I don't give a shit. That's eight fucking reps. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. And I realized on this last set, I didn't use my smelling salts one time. I knew something felt a little off. All right. Let me take a plate off each side. And then we'll do a drop set with the just two. Oh. Now, as long as my elbow can handle it, we're going to try some, some dumbbell skull crushers today. It's been like, fuck, it's been over a month, I think, because of my elbow kind of bothered me a little bit. It, it just feels right. I think today's the day we're going to at least try it. And if it starts hurting or just feeling uncomfortable, we'll scrap it and move to something else. But we'll give it a shot today. So pick all this shit up and then. We'll get over there. All right. So last time that I actually did skull crushers with the dumbbells, I was doing the 80s for like, I think it was anywhere from 10 to 12, you know, just, just depending on the day. You know, some days are better than those. Um, so I'm very tempted to just jump right back into the 80s, but I don't think that would be the smartest, smartest thing to do. So... I mean, and again, it's only five pounds less, but I got the 75s, but that can be, that can make a difference. So we'll try these 75s and do a set. I, honestly, I might just do all three sets with the 75s, even if it feels pretty good. Cause I don't want to, you know, I don't want to kind of jump the gun too quick and just re-aggravate my elbow and go right back to, to step one of me trying to get it, get it right again. So, yeah. I got the 75s. We'll probably just do all three sets with these. So as long as it feels good. If it doesn't, we'll scrap it and go to something else, like I said. But uh, let's give it a try. <sighs> 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 Ooh. 
All right, that wasn't that wasn't that bad. I mean, there was a slight discomfort on my right elbow still, but as I progressed through the set, it it kind of subsided. By the last rep, it really wouldn't even bother me. So we'll try one more. I think it'll be okay. So we'll try one more if that still feels good, and we'll do the third and final one here too. <laughs> See, my elbow is a little more prepared and warmed up for that second set. And I actually did one more rep, and I could have a little more explosiveness out of the whole of the rep. So, yeah, see, it's kind of how it works. <laughs> you know, when your joints feel good, you can perform better during a set. Kind of fucking makes sense, right? Yeah, but I would not, I don't know, I would not recommend to train through an injury like that. Now, I know I'm going to kind of speak out of both sides of my mouth real quick right now, but, you know, I, I do it if I feel, you know, I've been training long enough to where if I feel like the injury is not, is not that serious and I can work around it or even possibly still train that body part, whatever, you know, whatever it might be, I'm going to do it. And, but I'll kind of gauge what weight I should do and, you know, how far I should actually push it based on how it feels, but I've been training long enough to where I feel comfor comfortable and confident, you know, in my ability to judge that, you know, and do it. But if uh, it's one of those things where if someone's going to ask me, I would tell them, no, don't do it. Now, but if you feel, if you feel, again, comfortable and confident and enough in yourself to kind of judge that for yourself, then go ahead and do it if you think you can. But you got to be willing to, you know, you got to be willing to take a potential risk of an even more serious injury with that. So you got to weigh the pros and cons of doing that. And uh, if you're willing to, you know, push it and risk that, then uh, by all means do it. But again, I would recommend don't unless you just have that much self-awareness and ability to kind of judge for yourself. But uh, yeah, other than that, I would say just be safe. Don't do it. Just wait. I've always said patience is one of the biggest things to uh, have when it comes to developing your physique. So, yeah, just be patient. All right, yeah, let's do one more. I think one more. Yeah. I don't know. Do I want to do four? No, no. We're just going to do three. We'll do three here. Oof. 
Uh, I really wanted to go for that 12th rep, but I learned from the first one. Just by the way the just by the way the 11th one felt, I wasn't getting it. You don't want, you really want to push it too far when you're doing an exercise that's called a skull crusher. Because <laughs> if you fucking fail, not gonna be good. Not gonna be fucking good at all. All right, let's call that a wrap on the dumbbell skull crushers, and. Move on to something. Still don't know. All right. We had to uh, call an audible again here on these chest flies because it's, the gym's kind of jumping right now. I'm not going to lie. Every machine that I wanted to use so I didn't have to use dumbbells is taken at the moment. So, you know, I could sit down and wait. But that's fucking pointless if you ask me. So. I just figured we'll do dumbbells today, but instead of going up to the 90s for flies like I normally do, I'll, uh, I'll force myself to go a little lighter, and we'll just use the 80s. So go a little slower, try to try to get a little more reps, and uh, yeah, it is what it is, you know? So literally, that's what, my, that's what my fucking hat says. I wear it for a reason. All right. That was more than effective, so we'll do two more like that. Yep. Now, I still, I still kind of wish that I had stuck with the whole not doing dumbbells today because I, I can just recover better, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I kind of wish that I had just done cables. But now that I'm doing dumbbells, <laughs> yeah, again, they're my favorite, man. And, and again, I don't know why I ever fucking stopped doing them. The only thing I can guess is that Again, for like the first six years, seven years of my training, I had a bunch of weights in my mom's basement. And there, there was no cables. It was all free weight bars and dumbbells. So maybe I just got sick of them. So when I finally joined the gym, and I was like, oh, man, what's all this cable shit, you know? And I kind of uh, I kind of forgot about dumbbell flies and, and stuff like that. That's the only thing I can think of. Because now that I'm doing them again, I think they're way better. Well, again, let me calm down here a little bit. Not way better, but they are better than cable flies, at least for me personally. This might not be true for everybody. That's why you got to try on error. You got to figure it out for yourself. But, um, yeah, for me, you can't, you can't beat a good dumbbell chest fly on flat and incline. Yeah, let's do one more. 
Yeah, good fucking sets. I got nothing else to say. Let's uh try to hurt him snag his cables behind me for someone else does. They're very popular in here. Good so far. I'm thinking about doing. I think I'm about doing four sets here, just to give me instead of six sets of triceps today, give me one extra set. I know it doesn't sound like much, but sometimes that one extra set really can really honestly be a big make a big difference in the progress you see, and it can go both ways too. You know, one extra set can give you that much extra growth. And sometimes when you do one extra set, sometimes it's actually one two, set too many. And it can, uh, it can start to cause a lot of problems if you do that too much over and over and over again. But uh, I, think, I think seven sets will be good today. So we'll do three more. One more, one more, and that'll be it for triceps today. Now, I got to decide 
if I want to do, I was going to do chest dips, after, you know, to finish off this whole workout because obviously I'm going to do it to where I watch my chest. But no matter how you do that exercise, you're still going to incorporate your triceps. Now, how much you incorporate them, again, depends on how you do it. But I don't know. I don't know if I want to put that much more strain on my elbow. Still, again, it still bothered me a little bit. So, I don't know. I'll think on it in a minute or two and fucking decide. All right. Well, the chest dips won out against the pec deck. And it really wasn't. It was kind of just involuntary because the pec deck's really popular today. And I can't seem to squeeze in there at all. So. Fuck it, you know. We'll finish with chest dips. Maybe that's maybe that's the universe trying to tell me something. You guys believe in that shit? I don't know if I do. I don't know about that. But it could be. So we'll do chest dips. <laughs> <sighs> All right, two more for sure, maybe three, like always. I'll get to the third set and kind of decide if I want to do a fourth and final set. Still don't know yet. That was good. <laughs> I don't even know what to say after that one. I mean, my chest is fucking screaming right now. If it could make a sound, all you would hear is screaming. Ah, oh, fuck. All right. I think it's safe to say I'm probably going to do just one more. And I might, I don't know, might go back there, do a set of body weight push ups at a deficit. We'll see. I don't know. Let me just, let me do one more and fucking go from there, like, like I always do.
<laughs> Alright, rather than go back there and set all this fucking bullshit up again and do and do a I think a machine just got broke. <laughs> but yeah, rather than go back there and do like I said, set all this up and do a set of push ups. I'm just gonna stay right here and do a fucking drop set. It'd be quicker. And honestly, these these are feeling pretty good today, so let's just do it. Yep. That's good. Good workout. Let's check, let's check the pump. Dude, those fucking chest dips felt fucking awesome. Ooh, about to knock over my fucking tripod. Yeah, dude, they felt freaking great. Now, normally, normally it's always somewhat difficult for me to feel it as much as I'd like to when I'm doing a chest dip to feel it in my chest. And, you know, I've always known you, you got to lean forward as much as you can. And, you know, the more you sit up, the more it's going to work the triceps. So I'd always lean forward. But when I did them just now, I leaned forward even a little more than I normally do. And I really, I went as deep as I could in the eccentric and in the stretch position. And it made a world of difference. Um, yeah, my chest pretty lit up right now so let's let's get in right into this I don't know if I got all that in the shot. Make it short and sweet today. Again, it's kind of the same old, same old, but there is a certain point, or there's going to be a certain time whenever I 
actually start putting together a routine and start posing for long periods of time really because when you get on a bodybuilding stage posing it can uh, it can take you out <laughs> if you if you are not conditioned for it and and used to to doing that especially when you're dehydrated and you have very very low body fat percentage it's just like you know if you can't do it in the gym how in the world do you expect to do it on a stage with all those circumstances I just said fucking forget about it you know but uh yeah so I'm gonna have to start I don't know first of all putting the routine together and then you know maybe extending the amount of time that I actually pose or just do it almost like sets like you would a fucking a workout I don't know I'll figure it out though but yeah I'm gonna start doing that so but uh let's call that a fucking day I feel pretty good about about what I did in here so yeah we'll call that a day be back tomorrow for uh shoulders and back <laughs>